It is possible for you to praise God from the depth of your heart. It is possible for you to be giving your genuine praise to God. It is possible for you to create an habitation for God through your praise. Today, I would like to talk to you on giving yourself completely to God. Giving yourself completely to praising God. My scriptural reading today will be taken from the book of Psalm 67, verse 5 to 6. The word of the Lord says, May the nations praise you, O God. Yes, may all the nations praise you. Then the heads will yield its harvest, and God our God will richly bless us. May the nations praise you, O God. Yes, may all the nations praise you. Then the head will yield its harvest, and God our God will richly bless us. Praise is such an extremely powerful weapon of victory that few believers know about. When you are confronted with the battle of life, then if you will truly praise the Lord from the depth of your heart, you see, you will see the backside of the enemy and the battle of life will turn in your favor. I want you to know today that the enemy hates your giving genuine praise to God. The reason is because God Almighty inhabits the praises of his people. You will see this in the book of Psalm 22 verse 3. The book of Psalm 22 verse 3 says, Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. God Almighty inhabits the praises of his people. That is why the enemy hates you, giving genuine praise to God. You see, our text today gives us an understanding that praises is the weapon of fruitfulness. That is why the Bible says that when we praise the Lord, when all the nations praise the Lord, then the earth will yield its harvest, and God will richly bless us. When we praise the Lord, the earth will yield its harvest, and God will richly bless us. I want you to know today that any believer who lives a life of praise is always a fruitful believer. Have you ever wondered why David was so blessed and so fruitful spiritually? Have you ever wondered why he won the battles of life? Have you ever wondered why he bounced back after the enemy brought him down so terribly? Here is the secret. David learned to create an habitation for God through praise. He learned to create an habitation for God through his praise and worship. He so gave himself completely to praising God that he erected another tabernacle purposely to praise and to worship God. The tabernacle of David. The tabernacle of David. You too can bounce back from the assault of the enemy. All you need to do is to open the treasure of your heart and give God your genuine praise. Give God your genuine worship. Give God your genuine thanksgiving. My friend, when you give yourself completely to God in praising Him, the head will yield an increase and the blessings will flow from the Lord. I would like to pray with you right now. Let's talk to the Almighty God. We will give you increase and we will make your life to be blessed. We will send blessing out of Zion. Let's talk to Him in our prayer right now. Father Lord, we thank you. Thank you for your word and I thank you for the people that have listened to your word. I thank you because you inhabit in the praises of your people. Lord, I'm praying for your people today that through the help of your Holy Spirit, you will anoint them and you will help them to give you genuine praise. You will help them to give you quality praise. You will help them to give you their heartfelt praise for who you are and for what you have done, especially for them in this year. Lord, I pray for your people today that you will help them to be giving themselves completely to praising you. Help them, O oh Lord. Lord, I'm standing in the gap today to bring the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving on behalf of your people for everything that you have done for them, for who you are, and for everything 
that you have been and everything that you have done for them. I give you praise and I give you thanks. Lord, I thank you for answering our prayers today. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. I would like to thank you for listening to this message. My hope is that you've been tremendously blessed today. I want you to leave a comment below and share with us how this message has impacted your life. I also want to let you know that you can listen to our podcast anytime and anywhere on various popular platforms such as Apple, Google and Spotify. Check the links below to make your choice on any of these platforms that are convenient for you. If you are passing by today for the first time, I would like to welcome you to this family of God. Share this kingdom gospel to your friends, to your family and your loved ones. You could be a blessing to them by doing so regularly. God bless for doing that. So in case you need prayers, encouragement and counsels, you can send email to me or leave a comment here. God bless for doing that. Until I come your way next time, I'm Lady Benro. Bye for now. You are faithful, faithful through all things. You are faithful, faithful through all things. When we